let's not avoid what happened with Alaska Air. Let's not avoid the call for action. Let's not avoid the changes that we have to make in our factory. Let's not avoid the need to slow down a bit and let the supply chain catch up. Um, we got to get at that, just like we got at the rest. And we will get through that. We will get through that. And I've committed myself to the board to do exactly that. Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun on Squawk Box earlier this hour on the breaking news that he'll step down at the end of the year. Join us now at this take uh, on that news and everything else. Michael Landsberg, Chief Investment Officer at Landsberg uh, Bennett Private Wealth Management. It's an affiliate of Hightower. Uh, we don't, Boeing's not one of the Magnificent Seven, but it surely uh, is our, our premier manufacturing uh, company in, in the United States. That, were you paying attention, Michael? Does it matter on, on your view for the overall markets? Overall markets, no. I mean, unfortunately, Boeing has a great history, but in the last six, eight, ten years, they've been a culture of carelessness. Um, you know, and my problem with that company is they keep promoting people from the inside. I mean, Calhoun was on the board when we had the Max 7 problem. And to me, unless they pick somebody from the outside that brings a new kind of strict regimen to, to quality control, I wouldn't touch this stock. You know, we haven't owned it. We won't own it again until we get an outsider, because quite frankly, they're not doing a good job internally. You do have, uh, at least you gave our, uh, our people here some names that you're, you're very uh, excited about. Let, let's just, you know, for people that, that want to get some individual names, what, what are your uh, four favorites that you gave us or, or four that you like? Yeah, I mentioned Synopsys. They're like the leading, the, one of the leading kind of players in EDA, which is an automation software. It's got a nice business, and they've got a little bit of an AI kicker. So I think that's an interesting stock that gives you some AI exposure without having the AI risk of all or none. Right. I think that's an interesting story. I like O'Reilly Automotive, a nice mix of commercial um, business as well as do-it-yourself business, double-digit EPS. And those are my large-cap kind of exposures I, I would look at right now. In the small-cap world, I really like Axon Enterprises, A-X-O-N. They make um, tasers. They make um, you know, body cameras. And that's where we're going in this country. If you see you know, police officers making arrests, they're going to need the protection of having a camera to document what's going on. Um, also, a taser is non-lethal. And I think that's an area that I think more and more are going to have to push towards um, in this age of people getting sued. And, and there are some bad police officers. So the idea is for the vast majority that are good, they're going to want to wear this technology to kind of clear their names. And the last name's an overseas name, Rhein Metal. It's a German um, defense maker and obviously uh, w will be doing well and has done well given what's happening with um, the war in Ukraine. Munition sales are up you know, roughly 20 percent year over year. It's continuing to ramp up. And this is the way you can kind of play this reloading of military in, in Europe. We think, unfortunately, you know, this European Ukraine situation drags on a little bit longer. and You're going to need replacement weapons. Very good, uh, Michael. That was, <clears throat> I didn't even tell you short and sweet, but that was short and sweet. It was perfect. Uh, we'll talk maybe macro, maybe uh, top down some other time. Uh, but suffice okay. it to say, uh, you're probably already buying uh, things. You're probably always buying things that, uh, that you like to some extent, but we appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.